Hey everyone, I'm Elf Owls, and welcome back to Pack. We're in week seven, regular season's almost over. I'm at four and two after taking two losses in the past two weeks, so that's fun. So I'm gonna look for that fifth win here to lock myself into playoffs, hopefully. And we're doing that against the two and three Spine Chilling Gengar, coached by Gengar. Now, what do you think this guy's favorite Pokemon is, guys? It, it just, I'm just curious. Anyway, the coach has a team of Latios, Iron Treads, Cinderace, Azumarill, Alolan Muck, Terra Captain Terrakion, Terra Captain Rotom Mo, Ursaring, Haunter, and Quaxwell. I think this is a really solid team. Those top four are all draft staples, and all the way through the mid and low tiers, there's just a bunch of threats. Specific to this matchup, Muck and Ursaring are both really good spadef walls for Dragapult and Iron Moth. Then for their offense, there are just so many viable Scarfers to get the jump on Dragapult. I'm really expecting Scarf Latios, but Scarf Cinderace or Scarf Terrakion could also be pretty viable, so I just need to be careful with my Dragapult. Uh, we're just going to get right into the build though. We're going to start here with Urshifu. Uh, this is going to be a Banded Breaker because Close Combat Spam looks really good here. The resists are Azumarill and Latios, but neither of them really take a Banded CC all that well, unless it's Fizz Death Azu. Surging Strikes is the other stab, and the crits are nice into something like Iron Defense Treads. U-turn is good pivoting, especially against a Latios switch in, and Aqua Jet allows Urshifu to be a pretty solid revenge killer. Uh, it only needs like a tiny bit of chip to KO Cinderace, so that's pretty nice. Uh, it can even be like a nice cleanup tool with Aqua Jet if the end game calls for it. We are of course max attack with enough speed for Timid Rotom. Uh, yeah, pretty basic choice band set. Next up we have Dragapult which is a mixed attacking set, leaning pretty heavily physical, uh, potentially my lead here with the Focus Sash as well. I think if my opponent is going to bring Scarfers, they're probably going to lead with one of them. I'm expecting a Scarf Latios lead most likely, in which case I bait a Draco and then survive and KO back with Dragon Darts. Speaking of which, Adamant Dragon Darts goes pretty hard here. It hits Spadef, Muck, and Ursaring really hard, uh, which I'm expecting as a switch ins, and then any resists are covered by the rest of the set. Flamethrower is for Iron Treads, Thunderbolts for Azumarill, so Pult could be a really good cleaner with that coverage. U-Turn, of course, just as another pivot if I need it, and it does do pretty good damage into stuff like Latios anyway. We have no speed for Cinderace, which did allow me to get that Adamant Nature, which really helps those Dragon Darts calcs. Up next, back to a very basic Corviknight set, it's Max Fuse Death to tank hits from Iron Treads, Azumarill, and Terrakion. Body Press hits the Iron Treads and Terrakion pretty hard, U-Turn of course for pivoting, and you know the drill by now, Defog and Roost are pretty standard th at this point. Really not too much else to say about this, it's going to be a physical wall and pivot for the team. Alright, so next is Mesprit. Uh, this is mostly a special wall to switch into Latios. With the Covert Cloak, we're not too worried about Luster Purge because it can't drop some death, uh, and then the Spadef Investment allows me to take a Draco decently enough. From there, Mesprit is happy to just click knockoff into the switch in, or the Latios itself. Uh, but the rest of the moveset is where we get into a little bit of heat. I'm expecting Muck to be the switch into this, so I can click Imprison to disable its knockoff. Uh, and then it probably only has Poison Jab to hit me with, which can't poison me thanks to the cloak. And I can sort of trade down with it using Drain Punch. And then when Mesprit is low, I have Healing Wish, which is mostly for Dragon Pult because if I lead Pult and get knocked down on my Sash, I can get it right back up to full so it can do its job in the endgame. That's kind of the plan there. So that's Mesprit. Weird set, but the combination of Drain Punch and Knockoff is actually pretty disruptive to my opponent's team, so hopefully it's going to put in some good work. Next up, we're going to have Iron Moth with an offensive set. The idea with this is to force progress in the mid-game. Eject Pack Overheat is either really good coverage or or damage output, uh, or just a nice momentum grab. Sludge Wave is there to hit Azumarill and Cinderace, and Dazzling Gleam with Terra Fairy to threaten Latios. Morning Sun is kind of filler, but it can keep me healthy enough to tank a Latios hit after Terra. Either way, I really like Offensive Moth here. With max speed, we tie with Latios and outspeed so many other offensive threats like the Iron Treads or the Terrakion, so this is just a nice way to keep those in check. Then lastly, we're going to have Torterra which just looks like a solid attacker in this matchup. Having an Earthquake user is pretty important to deal with Muck, and it also gets really good coverage otherwise. Uh, Woodhammer is the other offensive move choice, it really just covers Azu, because this is also an emergency check to Belly Drum sets. Thanks to our speed investment, we always outspeed Adam and Azu, and the defense investment allows us to always take a plus six Aqua Jet after rocks. 
Other than that, Stealth Rock makes this our only Hazard Setter, and Synthesis gets Recovery. I actually really like that paired up with the Terra Water, which allows Torterra to tank multiple hits from the likes of Cinderace, Azumarill, and Ice Spinner Iron Treads. The Lumberry is there, so I'm not immediately crippled by the Will-O-Wisp users or Poison Touch Muck. So there's that. Uh, just a solid bulky attacker. I really like Terra Water here in this matchup, so hopefully I can put in some work. That is going to do it for a quick rundown of the team though. So uh, yeah, pretty quick build this week honestly, but hopefully I can do the job. So with that said, let's get right into the battle. Okay, that is going to be Gengar. Tell them our terror types. Alright, and we see, okay, Latios. Terrakion, which is Terra Electric. Kind of thought it would be that. Azumarill. Iron Treads. Cinderace. And Muck. Basically what I was expecting. Only thing that is really not in the picture that I thought might be is the Rotom. Okay, Terra Electric Terrakion. Pretty clearly for Corviknight. So, you know, good to know. Uh, I think I am going to go with the planned Dragapult lead. Hopefully catch a Scarfer. That is kind of the goal. And yeah, let's go. Yeah, good luck, have fun to my opponent. Alright, we're 4-2. Getting to a fifth win should guarantee me playoffs, so, you know, really hoping for that. It's the Treads, okay. So, into Iron Treads, we see... It looks like a max HP set. Flamethrower is a likely two-hit KO. Anything else I would like to do? Honestly, I'm just going to take my damage. Yeah. Alright. It is Assault Fest. As heck. Okay. Treads shouldn't get any priority. I know it doesn't get Ice Shard. So... Yeah, that's very Assault Vested. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, um, Flamethrower doing about 35-40%. Makes sense for an Assault Fest set. So let us U-turn. Okay, gets a little bit of extra chip onto it, which is nice. If it's Assault Vest, it probably has Ice Spinner for Torterra. Um, I'm thinking Corviknight. Knock off. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. I could roost because I do kind of need health on Corviknight. Uh, or I could just U turn out. You don't have an amazing switch in, though. I'll just U turn. You're gonna both switch first. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, Corviknight, I hope I can like roost up on the muck, I guess. That would be ideal. The Cinderace that switches in. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay. We get our U turn. Torterra is kind of my answer to this. The Terrakion being Terra Electric is like a little unfortunate. for my intents and purposes here, but I think I will go ahead and use my Terra Water. Because there's no Rotom, 
that was kind of the point of the of, of Torterra's original typing. So Terra Water is, you know, it's the plan. We could Stealth Rock, I guess. Hmm. Uh, but in case you Willow, I think I am just gonna Earthquake early here. Probably just gonna U-turn. Actually, yeah, U-turn is probably most likely. But let's see what happens. Yeah, it's a U-turn. Uh, 2 one 144. Is that 97? Or 57 points of damage, I think. U turn to my Terra to Torterra. D7. Yeah, it's in line with just like max attack. Alright, and I think I just go mess Brit. As is the plan for this Latios. Mess Brit. Latios. Thunderbolt. 187, 124 on a crit. Okay. And knock. Sixty-three points of damage. Thunderbolt on a crit. Crit's a little unfortunate, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, that is. I'm gonna guess scarf on Ladios. Uh, it's at least not a boosting item. out into what? So treads. Okay. Alright, treads is now in Dragapult range, which is nice. Volt switch is pretty free for it, unfortunately. Could just finish it now, actually. Let's drain punch. Heavy slam? Okay, I do take that. Alright, so Mesper's gonna KO Iron Trance. Uh, fortunately, don't know if Healing Witch is possible anymore. We'll have to see. Could go for Healing Wish now, because this might honestly just be my best chance left. I could attempt it in front of the Muck, but I'm so willing to bet that that thing has Shadow Sneak for me. And like, what's my what's even my switch into this thing, right? Ah, uh, it's unfortunate, but I think I just gotta go for the Healing Wish. X is Earth. Really? Okay. All right. Ah, uh, that didn't quite work out for me, did it? It's okay. It is what it is. Um, if it is locked into X Scissor. Um, Urshifu can scare it, but like, it can always Terra. That's scary. I think I need to go Moth. Yeah, I need to force this thing into Terra Ink, which could be right now. Uh, because I did reveal I'm Terra Fairy, so like, they know that I can go for a Dazzling Gleam. So I could overheat to predict that. How much does that do? Iron Moth. So it's Rakion. Let's just go for it. If it doesn't Terra, I at least do like a, a decent chunk to it.
What's your play? You do Terra. Okay. So with you being Terra Electric, my overheat is going to do a really nice chunk. Uh, I can come back in with a revenge on you later, which is great. Is that... That's got to be also Assault Vest, right? Yeah, I think it is. Crazy, okay. Let's see, Corviknight... I might have to lose Corviknight here. Kinda think so. Hmm. Well, Corviknight's the only thing that tanks a psychic move now. You can try it. Let's try the once. Terror Blast. Ah, man. That was kind of free, unfortunately. But... Oh! Oh, you... I live that? I mean... Dang. I wish I had come in like an Earthquake or an Exit. <laughs> uh, cause yeah, I still can't really do much here. I will try to just Body Press. Yeah, alright. Okay. So I think what I do here, um, let me burn some calcs, moth, can overheat. Or over he did, uh, that's just, let's confirm assault vest damage. Please, okay. Yeah, it's about that. Dragon Pult, Dragon Darts, doesn't actually quite guarantee it, but, um, I don't have too many other plays. Yeah, I think this should actually do it. Maybe you think you can tank. Um, there's no real switch is kind of likely here. But I, I'm, I'm under so much pressure to just attack what's in front of me. You know what I'm saying? I did take my time coming in here, so like... <laughs> maybe you think I just can't kill. Oh, it's Muck. Okay, let's actually check this, then. Uh, it looks like it has some Fizz Death on it, actually. Maybe. We go Torterra. Uh, I am not staying in to get Shadow Sneaked here. Nah. Really? I guess you knew I was gonna do that, but wow. Crazy. Okay, now I'm gonna rock up. Uh, this might come down to like a couple rolls, so rocks will help that. Especially worried about that Terrakion. I think you need to preserve Muck. I still have Iron Moth in the back.
if you stay in, I think I'm still okay. Okay. So with rocks going up, I think Muck goes down to the next Dragon Darts, which is good. Uh, yeah, this thing's a problem. Do I have a switch in? I do not. So I think I just synthesis and hope it doesn't kill me. Because if it goes for Thunderbolt and kills me, that really sucks. Uh, but at least Moth can come in after because it'll be locked in. I believe it'll be locked in. Yeah, okay. Oh man, alright. Yeah, we have to go Moth. Uh, I think I have to make a play here. There's a huge risk. You get to stay in and T-bolt. Man, I have been just been playing behind for so many games in a row here. Uh, sorry about the play, guys. I, I just, yeah. Been a little rough. Stay in. <sighs> oh, wait. Okay, I outsped that, actually. Wow, that means that it's, um... That's interesting. It's not Scarf, and... I mean, that could have been a speed tie, or, like, I just outsped it. That's kind of crazy. Okay, well, I am gonna CC, I think. Um, yeah, Wisp is a risk. And it makes me want to Aqua Jet, but I think Azu could be coming in here. Because uh, you, you could think I'm Scarf. Uh, um, it's Max Attack Cinderace, so... It's going to U-turn? Great. Okay. What are we going to see come in? Nothing likes this hit. I suppose I could U-turn here, because Latios is... Aha, uh, there's Latios. Um, my saving grace is that Moth might outspeed the Latios. Uh, but it has a very free psychic move here. Can I do much about that? Not really. Um, okay, uh, so I do need a sack. Could be Pult, which... Hmm. Yeah, I think it has to be Pult, right? Urshifu is necessary as the only thing that doesn't go down to Azu Aqua Jet. Really Draco, huh? Very interesting. Alright. Overheat, I think. Because I think the muck's coming in. Hmm. 
Yeah, you do preserve it. Uh, Cinderace. Okay. If it has Zen Headbutt, it has a very free Zen Headbutt click here. But I don't really have a different play. Double Edge. Alright. So I Aqua Jet here if I want to finish this off, or if I think it's going to switch out in fear of the Aqua Jet. I need to switch to Moth, which is likely on the Azumarill. Or I would just CC, I guess. Um, this game's lost, but let's see. Ugh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, it's Helmet, okay. So, I mean, there's not a great shot here, but there's kind of a maybe little chance. I don't know, I think Muck's too healthy. Because the only, theoretically, oh yeah, Azumarill plus Cinderace does it, yeah. Oh well, man. I'm not complaining well for you guys, I'm very sorry. At least I take another KO here. Ah. Yeah, Cinder's gonna come in and um, that, that definitely takes the KO. Yeah. Ah. Alright, GG to my opponent. Uh, that's four a loss, so we're down to uh, four and three record. I'm just kind of in funk right now. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't help that like these past two games have been played back to back right after I got back from vacation, so... Uh, yeah, alright. Uh, well, four and three. I am still looking for the last win to really guarantee playoffs, but... Um, I'm still in, you know, decent standing. Uh, really hoping to bounce back with the last week, which is going to be against, I believe, Badass Frostlass and the Indiana Tracers. So, looking forward to that one. Uh, with that said, yeah, uh, tough loss. I, mm, yeah, my resources were just kind of not good enough for what was brought. It was like multiple Assault Vesters, and there's that Helmet Azumarill, yeah. Yeah. Things I could have done differently, I would say, like, I should have read a couple of switches better. The Latios in on Torterra Earthquake, pretty darn obvious. Could have rocked up there instead. Uh, and, like, wasting Corviknight early. Especially, like, wasting Mesprit and then Corviknight to the Terrakion, right? Because if I had switched to Corviknight, it would have been on the X-Scissor. And then we saw that... I. I Pretty sure, because Corbin Knight four times is X Scissor. Then um, I would have taken an X Scissor into a Terra Blast, so that should have been my line of play. Uh, that was a big thing, because yeah, without Corbin Knight, like I did not have Latios switch ins. Uh, without Corbin Knight or Mesprit, honestly. Uh, Mesprit was kind of doomed early, but I could have at least tried to heal him with up Dragapult. Yeah. Um, yeah, Healing Wish up on the Dragapult would have been, like, amazing. 
because it, yeah, wow. A full health Dragon Pool did amazing against the rest of that team. Uh, like the way it was, I was just down to Azumarill Aqua Jet whenever it came in. But if I was at full health, I resisted that. I outsped Latios, which we saw with the Moth. Um, I would have KO'd the Terrakion with darts. Cinderace could have Sucker Punch, but we could try to deal with that, switch around. Uh, and then Muck, we saw that I too had KO'd, uh, and would have KO'd from, from the range it came in at. Yeah, shoot. So yeah, uh, getting the Healing Wish off probably instead of of Drain Punching the Treads. That was the big thing, yeah. If Mesper had to go down, it should have just been the Healing Wish up Dragapult. And then it, it literally could have come in right there to KO the Treads afterwards. But you live and you learn. Uh, yeah, sorry to ramble. Um, that's, that's my insight. That's the line of play I should have done, probably. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it. So with all that said, I'll see you guys for week eight. Uh, and yeah, see you next time.